Video analysis taking place here at the 1999 German Open and it's the women's doubles final between Sheila Batorfi and Kristina Toff of Hungary. Batorfi 32 years old, world ranked at 21. Toff 26 years old and world ranked at 31. Their opponents in this final, Zhang Yining and Zhang Yingying of China. Zhang Yining, 17 years old, world ranked at 10. And Zhang Yingying, 17 years old and world ranked at 24. And it's the Chinese pair who took the first game 22-20. And we join the game in at 18-8 to Batorfi and Toth. Vivid contrast in styles in this women's doubles final. The Hungarians with the forehand power top spinning technique. The Chinese precision hitting up to the table. but the Hungarians have a dominant 10-point lead in the second game. Good reactions there from Christina Toth to set up 10 game points to take this final to a deciding third game. Great flick down the line by Ying Ying. Ying Ying, a winner of the mixed doubles at the recent World Championships. Receiving the Batorfi service. Batorfi herself, a former European champion in singles. Title she won back in 1986. That's very good flicking there from Ying Ying. And I was on the receiving end of that in the mixed doubles at the World Championships. Very cool performer. And again, it's the flick from Ying Ying that sets up the point. And that's four game points saved, but Torfi and Toth still lead 2014 in this second game. And there it is, second game to Sheila Batorfi and Christina Toth, 21-14. And we join the third game at 17 all. The pressure really on here, and that was a good backhand topspin. The Torfi just failing to control it. And it's a question here of mental strength as much as anything else, but the Hungarians have the service. The Torfi using the forehand service. And that is a great topspin there from both Hungarian players. And now the scores level at one game all and 18 all in the third and final game. That's an unforced error there by Christina Toth. It was a good service, big chance to get in the forehand. And the Hungarian coach, Istvan Fulop, has called time out with the score 19-18 to the Chinese pair. A good time, Matt, to call a timeout. It's always difficult to know until they're back at the table, but an unforced error from Toth, probably playing on her mind, gives her a minute to think about things, to recompose herself and to discuss the kind of service that she wants her partner to put onto the table. The white card there on the table, indicating that it was the Hungarian pair who called the timeout. And so it's Sheila Batorfi to serve at the end of this third and final game. And would you believe it, she did a long service. I don't know if she had done that deliberately, but it surprised Ying Ying. And they level it at 19 all. And again a long service, that is quite extraordinary. And Ying Ying again didn't expect it to come long twice but it gives the Hungarians championship point. The Torfi will be disappointed there. She stepped round, she was in position to make the forehand topspin and it just went off the end of the table. And so that's match point saved. And the score now 20 all. The frustration clear to see. 
And of course now it's the first pair to win two clear points. And it's Zhang Yingying to serve. Service long, and that was a great forehand topspin by Christina Toff. And the Hungarian pair have their second match point, and this time it's Toff to serve. Well, that was an error by Ying Ying because the serve drifted long and it gave Toff the chance to topspin. That's very, very good play from the Chinese pair. The crucial stroke in that point was the return of serve, managed to keep it tight, and it set up the forehand smash down the line. And so now Zhang Yining to serve. Scores level 21 all. No! And good return there from Batorpi. That takes courage at this stage in a match. A nice flick down the line, and now Batorfi serves again. It's the Hungarian's third match point. And will she serve long or short? That's the question in the mind of Ying Ying. And there it is. A great service from Batorfi. And it's the Hungarians, Batorfi and Toff, who take the title and establish the number one position on the ITGF Pro Tour standings. A great win. And now to the women's singles final between Wang Nan of China, 21 years old, world ranked at number one, and indeed the current world champion. And her opponent in the final, Li Ju, also of China, 23 years old, world ranked at number three, the current Asian champion. And it was Wang Nan who took the first game, 21-15. And we join the second game with Wang Nan leading 18-10. But that was a great topspin by Lee Ju straight down the line. Without doubt, the two best women players in the world at the moment. But Wang Nan seems to have the measure of her Chinese compatriot, Li Ju. Leading by one game and 18 points to 12. And that's why Wang Nan is so dominant. She has the capability both to topspin and to hit close to the table. And Li Zhu looking decidedly demoralized at the moment. Wang Nan attempting the forehand topspin down the line. Just caught the top of the net. Fantastic reactions from Wang Nan. Big grin on her face and very good hitting there from Li Zhu. Throwing caution to the wind to a certain extent. And Wang Nan really enjoyed that, of course, these two very close friends. Wonderful backhand topspin there by Li Ju. Totally relaxed, with the ball on the diagonal. Wang Nan with no chance. So Wang Nan now leads by 19 points to 15 in the second game. And has her last service in this sequence of five. And Li Zhu is playing some inspired table tennis at the end of this second game. Coming back into it, five serves to come, only three points down now. But the pressure on, and will she be able to maintain that explosivity? Again, it's that consistent backhand topspin from Wang Nan. Threw the ball up, not quite so much pace, a lot of topspin on the ball. And she forced the error from Lee Ju. And Wang Nan now has four game points in this second game. This final, of course, the best of five. 
And there it is, Wang Nan takes the second game, 21-16. And we now join the third game with Wang Nan leading by 10 points to six. And there we see the European Championships being promoted in the year 2000 in this very stadium. Competition you'll be looking forward to, Matt. It's going to be a very interesting competition. Vladimir Samsonov, of course, the reigning champion. These two players will not be allowed to participate, of course. Wang Nan now leading by 13 points to six. The last three times that these two have met, it's been Wang Nan who's run out the winner. But in fact, throughout their career, they've met on 11 occasions. And believe it or not, it's Li Ju who has the slight edge at 6-5. That is very interesting because right now, except for that short flurry of brilliance at the end of the second game, this has been Wang Nan all the way. And it's that backhand topspin that has been the most effective stroke in the match. And Li Zhu, no answer to it. At the recent World Championships in Eindhoven, Wang Nan, of course, took three gold medals in the women's singles, in the women's doubles, with, in fact, her opponent, Li Ju. And, of course, the Chinese women's team took the team title. Almost looked like a practice routine there. Four and loop to back end block. And Li Ju looking very disconsolate. Can she find a modicum of inspiration? Doesn't look like it as she makes a false service to go 10 points down. Great play there by Lee Ju, totally relaxed, going for a shot. Probably the only thing she can do now. And that's exactly what she did there. Went for the backhand topspin on the diagonal. Unfortunately caught the top of the net and she's now 10 points adrift. Wang Nan leading 18-8 in this third game. And this really has been a thoroughly professional and decisive performance by the reigning world champion. Completely shutting out the second best woman player in the world. And it looks like Wang Nan is in for a long run as the world's best woman player. Following the footsteps of probably the greatest player ever, Deng Yaping who retired just uh, 18 months or so ago. And edging towards a very good victory, very workmanlike victory in this German Open. Wang Nan now leading 19-11, and of course by two games to nil. And he's now only two points away from adding the German Open title to her already impressive list of tournament victories. And there it is, the third and final game to Wang Nan, 21-11. And the world champion takes the German Open title. And the story of the final, clear to see. Tian Zona, who leads the ITTF Pro Tour standings. And we'll see you after the break. Pen Lung Chang and Yuan Su Chiang of Taipei. Pen Lung, 23 years old, world ranked at 21, and Yuan Su, 19 years of age, world ranked at 88. The Taipei pair took the first game and lead 15 12 in the second. And these two players from Taipei combine brilliantly in doubles, both with very strong forehand top spins. Good service there from Christophe Legou. These two French players only started playing doubles together relatively recently before Elwar played with Gatien, Legou with Patrick Chila. But they seem to be coming of age as a partnership. They've had some good wins en route, notably against Schlager and Yindrek. 
And now they've evened it up with that trademark Elwar forehand topspin at 15 all in the second game. Best of three. Great return of service there by Elwar. Read the Peng Lung service well. Great feeling to touch the ball back so tight. And that's why Elwar is such a strong doubles player. Great change of direction with the chopped long push. His body moving one way, his wrist the other. Top. Peng Lung's forehand topspin just caught the top of the net. And it's the French pair who've taken six consecutive points and now lead 18-15 in this second game. And now the score, 18-16, the French pair lead. That's a good forehand topspin from Chen Yan Su. Young man, still not ranked in the top 50 but it won't be long before he is. Good footwork, plenty of topspin. But now the French have five serves, and it's Elwar, two serve, and he has one of the best serves in Europe, if not the world. 19-17 now. Great return of service there, short to Lagu's forehand. Lagu unable to make the strong forehand topspin. Oh, no spin on that serve from Elwar. What will he do this time? Oh, what a rally. That was great table tennis. The French partnership taking the initiative with some power forehand top spinning. Good blocking from Chinese Taipei, but now two game points. And there it is at the first time of asking. Elwar and Lagu take the second game 21-18. And we're in the third game, and it's the Taipei pair who lead 14-10. Great service from Elwar. Cut underneath that. Copious amounts of backspin. And Chan Yan Su, no chance to control it, but now he has his sequence of five serves to come, and Lagu will be returning. Dirk Schimmelfinnick there in the crowd. The director of coaching in Germany. Oh, and that's an unforced error by Chen Peng Lung. The float serve from Chen Yan Su. The ball came up, but he flicked it off the side. They still have a two point advantage. Excellent backhand topspin from Damien Elwar straight down the line. And normally the backhand is a weakness, but that certainly was. Textbook stuff to come within one point. Put everything into that, Damien Elwar. Oh. Peng Lung's flick just caught the top of the net. The ball off the end of the table and it scores level. 14 all in this third and final game. Yuan Su serving. That was a poor return from Lagu. He tried to put some side spin along with the chop, but Chen Peng Lung stepping around nicely and drilling the ball into Elwar's middle. Big point now. Oh, what a shot from Damien Elwar. The ball came up. Chen Peng Lung flick smashed it. But reaction table tennis. He smashed the smash. Here we see the high push and Elwar. Well, that's phenomenal reactions. He really is on form. And Patrick Birichot, with a look of, uh, well, bewilderment, I think, of that stroke by uh, Damien Elwar. Lagu has a service. And that was a great flick by Pen Lung. Used the spin on the ball. Flicked it out wide to Elwar's forehand. Elwar there, no chance whatsoever. And the score 15 16 in favour of Pen Lung and Yuan Su. That's good play from Elwar again. He's unstoppable, it seems, at the moment. Great 
topspin down the line, clever service from Lagu. Yeah. The back going from out to in, across the back of the ball, putting side spin on, and then the forehand topspin from Damien Elwar down the line. Great shot. Oh! That was lucky. That was lucky. The return caught the top of the net and just disturbed the service formation of Damien Elwar. And so now, Peng Lung Yuan Su with their five serves to come. Lead 18 17 in the third and final game. The French pair discussing tactics. And Peng Lung to serve. That was another unforced error. Elwa visibly breathed a sigh of relief. It's 18 all in the deciding game. Oh! Heavy backspin on the service from Pen Lung. Excessive use of the wrist, cutting underneath the ball. Heavy backspin. Elwar pushing into the net. 19 18. Oh! Great forehand top topspin spin from Yuan Su. Threw the ball up in the air. Heavy spin. Forced the block off the end of the table. And so it's two match points for Pen Lung and Yuan Su. And that's a great topspin from Chan Peng Lung to take this third and final game, 21-18. And it's the Taipei pair who take the men's doubles title at the 1999 German Open. And that confirms their position at number one on the ITTF Pro Tour standings. See you after the break. UEFA Cup Night is something special on Sky Sports News. With our new digital technology, you ...or switch between the three. In association with Ford, enjoy UEFA Cup Night Thursday from 7 on Sky Sports News. Only available on Sky Digital. Buy me, they whispered. Buy me now. Come to think of it, they've been whispering it on and off for the past two weeks, but they were lovely. With shoes like these, you can't help smiling. With shoes like these, the sun always shines. With shoes like these, a girl can easily do without Steve Arnold and his... I have trouble with the word commitment. My life is very full right now. I've loved our time together. Perhaps we need some space. Can't we be grown up? Grown up? <laughs> nice, aren't they? Barclay card. One card, a million uses. Motorola V dot, V small, V light, V sexy. Go on. Huh? Go on. Huh? Go on. Running a busy home can be quite demanding. First, those bills. Then the credit and store cards. Perhaps a car loan. Put all these together and your monthly commitments soon mount up. Alternatively, you could replace them all with a single monthly repayment to First Plus. So what does this mean? Well, you could drastically cut your monthly outgoings with a combination of low interest rates and a choice of repayment periods to suit you and your pocket. What's more, you can do all this over the phone. If you're a homeowner, you can apply for a First Plus secured personal loan right now, even if you have little or no equity in your home. Call First Plus today. The call is free, there's no obligation, and you'll get a quick decision. 
Call First Plus now on 0800 052 6000. The final of the men's singles between Vladimir Samsonov, who's actually from Belarus, world ranked at number one, 23 years of age, and the current European champion, and his opponent in the final, Liu Guliang of China, world ranked at number three, 23 years of age, and the current world and Olympic champion. This final, the best of five. And we join with Liu Guliang leading 13-12, in the first game. And what a fascinating matchup this is. The two best players in the world, without a doubt at the moment. Liu Guliang, the only person ever to hold the Worlds and Olympics simultaneously. And Vladimir Samsonov, the reigning European champion, and now the world number one after his success at the Japan Open a few weeks ago. And Liu Guliang showing why he is the world champion. It's the service and the strong forehand and Samsonov, if he has a weakness, it is against short, pimpled, penhold players, and he completely misread that service. A better return from Samsonov, but an unforced error. Here we see the Liu Julian service action. It's a free arm that disguises a point of contact, and it means that the opponent cannot see the spin on the ball via the service action, they have to rely on watching the ball itself, the mark on the ball, to see whether it is rotating. And you get a little bit of information from the flight of the ball over the net. But if you don't see the spin, you can't get the ball back. And that flick from Liu Guliang just caught the edge of the table. And he now leads 19-12 in the first game. Samson off serving. Uh, and Liu Guliang now with eight game points. And there it is at the first time of asking. Liu Guliang wins the first game 21 12. But it's Samsonov now who leads 12 6 in the second. What a rally! That is fantastic play from Vladimir Samsonov. Showing great defence, great movement, feel and power. And he makes a 13-6 lead now. And really getting into his stride. This is shaping up to be a classic. Amazing movement there and touch because the ball was loaded with spin. And then powerful forehand top spins to win the point. And Samsonov now leading 15-6. But that's going to be the problem for Samsonov. He's not seeing the spin on the Liu Guliang serve. It's not surprising. It is a very, very good service. Good tactics there from Samsonov. Push the ball deep, read the spin well, pushed the ball deep into Liu Guliang's backhand and took the point. This time the short return of service and a 17-7 lead for Vladimir Samsonov. And again it was a long push into the backhand, but a disguised direction adjustment because he moved the wrist at the last moment. And there the innovation that Liu Guliang has developed. Backhand topspin, the first ever pen holder to use the backhand topspin with the reverse side of the rubber. Samsonov missing the forehand topspin there, but has a few points to play with, leading 19-8 in this second game. It's very interesting that Liu Guliang, no problems at all with Samsonov's serve. Pretty tame, really, for someone of Samsonov's level. Not a great deal of spin. But you get the feeling that if Samsonov can get into the points against Liu Guliang, he's got every chance of defeating the world champion.
Good forehand okay. topspin deep into Liu Guliang's backhand. And Samsonov now with 10 game points. And takes the first one to take the second game. 21-10 to level this final at one game all. And here we see the quite remarkable footwork and then the flick from Samsonov. And he'll be delighted now to have leveled this final at one game all. And we join the third game with Samsonov leading 12-8. And that now takes it to 14-8. Good direction with Samsonov. The Samsonov forehand into the body of Liu Guliang. And the key to Samsonov's success is not the speed of his top spins, but the direction always seems to find the place where you don't want it to go. Great use of the angles there from Samsonov. The service long and fast into the backhand. And then the Samsonov's backhand wide to Liu Guliang's forehand. That's the place. Nine, Just six, under the playing arm into the body. Three. He always seems to find his opponent's pocket, as it's called. And Liu Guliang couldn't quite drag it out. But he's got his serves to come. And that's a great smash from Liu Guliang. Straight down the middle of the table. Samsonov with no chance. It's Samsonov leading 16-10. But again, the return of service. A little bit too high. And a great smash from the Olympic champion. And that was a phenomenal service. Wide down the forehand, a kicker. So much topspin that it kicked off the table. And Samson off four points ahead in what could be a crucial third game. Topspin on the service there. Fast accelerating wrist this time, brushing across the back of the ball. Samson off can't see the point of contact because of the free arm. Hits the ball too high and a great smash from Liu Guliang. And he takes four points on his sequence of five to come to within two points. But Samsonov has his sequence of five serves to come. He's not gaining the same advantage from his service. But he needs to take a minimum of three, you feel, because Liu will be serving at the end. That was great touch play early on. The touch stroke, one of the most difficult in table tennis, and Samsonov was the first to topspin. And he wins with that fast topspin wide to Liu's forehand. But what a forehand flick by Liu Guliang. This really is table tennis from the top draw. Moving one way and then the other, 17-15. Clever play there by Liu Guliang, stepped across to his forehand, threw the ball up in the air, took the pace off the ball, no spin, forced the error from Samsonov, but it's still Vladimir Samsonov who leads 17-16. That's more like it, that's more like it. The short service, stepping around and the power forehand, Liu Guliang given no chance. This next point crucial because, of course, Liu Guliang has his five serves to come at the end of this third game. Wow, what a shot! Liu Guliang using the backhand top spin. It was loaded with spin, but Samsonov, here we see it. He steps around and drills the forehand. That is precision timing from the Belarusian. 16-19, Liu Guliang to serve. He took five out of five from the last service sequence. Oh, it touched. It flicked the edge of the table. It was a good return from Samsonov. But Liu's opening forehand just brushed the table and Samsonov acknowledged it. And now 17-19. Oh, my word. What a shot. Both these players are hitting the heights in this final. That backhand down the line. He saw Liu step around and now has three game points and that's a fantastic yeah. service the fast accelerating wrist but the umpires called a let 
and Samsonov feels it wasn't a let. Are we going to see some great sportsmanship here? Indeed we are. Okay. Samsonov deliberately returning the ball into the net to give Liu Juliang the point. That is sportsmanship of the highest order. Samsonov disagreeing with the umpire's decision, gave the point to Liu Guliang. And so the score now, 18-20. 19-20. That's two game points saved, well, one remaining for Vladimir Samsonov. That is terrific sportsmanship, really, from Samsonov, because Liu has another serve to come. Took a chance there, Samsonov, not sure of the spin on the ball. Launched that backhand topspin, just missed the end of the table. Three game points saved, 20 all in the third game. First player to win two clear points, and it's Samsonov to serve first. And the serve drifted long, but when you've got a third ball like that, it doesn't seem to matter. What a good backhand punch from Samsonov, and fourth game point but Liu has the serve. Four. And there it is, Vladimir Samsonov, to the delight of the crowd, takes the third game, 22-20, and takes a 2-1 lead in this final. Liu Guliang took the fourth game, 21-6. Oh, that was lucky. It's now 14-6 in the deciding fifth game. And Liu's smash just hit the net and dribbled over. Samsonov with a lot to do. He's in big trouble. The big man from Belarus. 6.15. Good service there from Samsonov, having served deep into the backhand of Liu Guliang. The short service to the forehand. The surprise element winning the point. But this time Liu Guliang read the direction well. And stepped round the backhand to make that strong forehand topspin and now leads 16-8 in the fifth and final game. So, Liu Guliang. 16-9, and with his sequence of five serves to come, it is crucial, to say the least, that Samsonov takes them well. He didn't take that one well, but he defended it. The opening forehand smashed very well. 16-10. Again, the forehand smash missing. Uncharacteristic play, and Liu Guliang there indicating to the umpire that he'd like to call timeout. Obviously feels Samsonov's coming back into the match. A good time to call time, Matthew? Without a doubt. Two unforced errors with his forehand smash. Samsonov was getting into a roll. He just takes a minute to try and change the flow and the dynamic of this deciding game. Interesting, Matthew, that Liu Guliang goes over to his coach. Samsonov playing without a coach. Do you feel that's a disadvantage? It really depends on the psychology of the individual player. Some people feel that they need a coach there. Samsonov not so concerned about it. But will this timeout have made a significant difference? So fifth and final game, Liu Guliang serving 16-11. And what reactions there from Liu Guliang. Great shot down the middle from Samsonov, but quite incredible reactions from Liu Guliang and that forehand smash wide to Samsonov's forehand, Samsonov there with no chance at all. That was an amazing shot from uh, Liu Guliang, but Samsonov straight back, 17-12 now. Samsonov needs this point. But he's still not seeing the spin on the, on the serve. And it hit the top of the net and just missed the end of the table. Samsonov now needs to take all five of his serves, you feel. The last six times these players have met, it's Samsonov who leads by four matches to two, but <laughs> Liu Guliang leading 18-13 in the fifth here at the German Open. 
lucky, very lucky, because it flicked the top of the net on both the Lou Goulian forehands. Samson off, not best pleased by it, and now 13-19 down. That's a wonderful backhand topspin from Samsonov. Good service, and then the backhand topspin down the middle. But it's still Yu Guliang with the five-point cushion, leading 19-14 in the fifth game. Good service, that's clever. He needs to do something different. Fast serve down the line. Surprise Liu Guliang. Samsonov, 15-19 now. The block to the middle of the table, Samsonov not quite in position to make that backhand topspin. And it's Liu Guliang now with five match points. And perhaps critically with his service to come. And a great smash into the body of Samsonov. And it's China's Liu Guliang who takes this 1999 German Open men's singles title, beating Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus. Congratulated by his coach. And there, the story of this final, a win for China's Liu Guliang, the current world and Olympic champion, but it's still Austria's Werner Schlager, who leads the ITTF Pro Tour standings. And now let's enjoy some of the highlights of that fantastic men's singles final. you enjoyed that as much as Matthew and I. We'll be back soon on Sky Sports with the Austrian Open. See you then.